I am here with the head of Nismo, Mr. Yeah. Minatani. Thank you. Um, so tell me about the brand. Tell me about the philosophy of Nismo. Uh, Nismo, uh, Nismo stands for Nissan Motorsports International, and as the name suggests, uh, this company is uh, was established 30 years ago as a uh, Nissan specialized uh, motorsports arm, okay. and and since then uh, Nismo has been doing the uh, motorsports all over the world, not only in Japan, and uh, achieved a lot of uh, records uh, on on the track. And now it is uh, perceived and positioned as Nissan's performance brand. Right. So uh, the motorsports and also these technologies fed back into the road cars. Right. You're yeah. bringing all the, the race car stuff yeah, yeah. back into the road cars. Uh, road cars. Else. And uh, from 2013, we started to introduce Juke Nismo, Juke Nismo RS, and then Z Nismo. Uh, you, you, you pronounce Z Nismo. You know? It's fine. <laughs> yeah, in Brits, you know, you have to say Z. But uh, Z Nismo and then GTR Nismo. We uh, we launched, and um, so those are the models here uh, available in the United States. And um, in Japan, we have some additional models okay. like March Nismo, No Nismo, but that is all the uh, Nismo road cars. So, what exactly goes into you know your thought process when you're designing these cars? Is it just straight race car technology into it, or are you going more for you know slight? A slight bit of road car, but also yeah, yeah. the race car technology. And yeah, yeah, the race car technology. When, when I say race car technology, it's uh, some Godzilla is shouting. Uh, not this one, but <laughs> we can get that one up. Yeah, we'll start it up. Start it up. When I say the um, race car technology. Uh, mostly we are talking about aerodynamics yeah. and the engine performance, suspension, maneuverability and uh, some uh, uh, inter the interior treatment, okay. uh, particularly seat. So when you look at the uh, Nismo road cars all around here, yeah. you would see some kind of the uh, consistent image. Yeah, and but the exterior it has the uh, the function of the aerodynamics. So without damaging the um, uh, coefficient drag, right. we are trying to improve the uh, downforce. Right. So that's the uh, concept of the aerodynamics, and uh, all the design detailed design has some function in it. Yeah. According to our designer, you know? <laughs> that's one thing. Functionality. Yeah, functionality yeah. with the, uh, the design. So that's uh, and the um, in terms of the engine and all that sort of. Um, uh, the, the the performance and power unit, the we we uh, always do some kind of uh, performance improvement, obviously in case of GTR, uh, 550 to 600 horsepower. It's a bit of a jump. Uh, yeah, a bit of a jump and 600 horsepower, a little bit uh, you know, <laughs> big horsepower. Just a bit. <laughs> yeah, and uh, for the for the Z. Uh, we have uh, 350 horsepower uh, as opposed to uh, 330. Yeah. So those kind of performance improvement with the uh, rigidity of yeah, the uh, stiffening yeah. the chassis, yeah, yeah stiffness with and the suspension, yeah, and Make we it just go flat. Yeah, go flat, and also we have the uh, kind of the bonding body. You know, okay. To to improve the rigidity yeah. of the uh, of the body. Okay, so you're yeah. actually strengthening the chassis with yeah. like strengthening bars and right. stuff like that to yeah. actually make it much more rigid. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. And in, when you go into the interior, you know, you can see a red stripe or red uh, mark on the top of the steering wheel. You want to always yeah. know where your <laughs> yeah. deadlock yeah. is. That that is. Uh, the image of the uh, racing car. Yeah, you know? definitely. Uh, yeah, and uh, and um, the carro seat. Uh, yeah, those are nice. Yeah, I nice see. I'm a big fan of those seats. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have we are dealing with the red for uh, for a lot of cars, and uh, the the red carro is tailored for each of our model. So oh, so each yeah. each one has a separate uh, Recaro seat. Yeah, 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 so yeah. It's just specifically for that model. Yeah. Oh. So it's not just the after sales, you know. It's not Recaro just something you just whatever. Yeah, yeah, not like that. So, okay. Yeah. 
So, what's next? I know you might not be able to talk about it, <laughs> anything, but, but yeah, what, yeah. Is, what do you see for the future of Nismo? What do you, where do you see it going? Where do you see the, the GTR going, or even the Z? Yeah, the, we are expanding. Uh, we, we have expanded our lineups, mm -hmm. yeah, and we, we want to expand more and uh, into the U.S. Of course, geographic expansion as well, um, Japan, Europe, and the United States, and some other markets. And also we are trying to cover the, uh, the wider audience of the customers. Okay. Not only the uh, core motorsports core fans, you know, not only the, <laughs> not only the GTR fast, 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 but also like a, um, like the, oh, the, yeah. the, the central, no, this more. Yeah, that is uh, that was uh, unveiled two years ago as a concept, and we are studying how to make it available in the market. All right. Yeah, and that is uh, another. By that kind of car, we we want to attract the wider audience right. of the customers. But you're not yeah. diluting the brand at the yeah, same yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're still keeping it, the core motorsports background. Yeah, but, indeed. You know. So it's not it's not just like a cosmetic, you know, version. Yeah. You know, with um, uh, in order for the car to be called as Nismo grade, yeah, it ha there's a, we have the set of criteria. You know. The uh, suspension engine duh, 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 has to be like this, not just the uh, add-on parts like. Uh, you know, just kit. stick on things. Yeah, you, know, yeah. you can get at any local Indeed. hardware store. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. So, right. what yeah. about the GTR specifically? Are you guys thinking about going hybrid? Are you thinking about? Are you just planning on you know different things? Are you testing different situations? Are we going to see you know the Nismo GTR Le Mans as the <laughs> next GTR? <laughs> Secret. <laughs> Secret. But uh, you know, always when I, when we talk about the GTR, yeah. you know, the we have a GTR Nismo as a road car, and we have the uh, GTR GT3, which is the racing car. Yeah, I've seen those. Yeah, cars. but the uh, turbo turbine is the same as GTR Nismo, and uh, this uh, GT3 is competing all over the world. And the last year, uh, no, last week just won the uh, Bathurst 12 hour. I saw it. Yeah, that yeah, was great. The, 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 the last two laps, oh, amazing, you know. <laughs> Bathurst is one of those interesting <laughs> yeah, tracks. Yeah. That's just like, yeah. okay, this very is... Very narrow, but it's uh, very it's, difficult to... Yeah, to Mount Panorama overtake, is but, yeah. kind so, of crazy. So GT3 cars, and also we have, on top of that, the GTR GT500, which is purely a racing car, which is uh, 1,020 1, kilo. No? Wow. Very light. Okay. Yeah. Uh, very, like, very, really a racing car. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, very fast, more than 300 kilometers per hour on the Fuji circuit. And, uh, That's fast. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. And that is competing against the uh, Toyota Honda works program head oh, to yeah, head. Yeah. And this is going to, probably in the future, going to compete against the DTM. Uh, okay. The Germans, yeah. uh, Audi, BMW, uh, Mercedes. Mercedes. Yeah. We are. We have the steering committee, and I'm a member of that steering committee. And talking with the uh, DTM, DTM. Yeah. Yeah. so That'd be good. And then the uh, the final, the, the top of the ladder is this uh, GTR LM Nismo, yeah. which is going to compete in the Le Mans 24 Hours against Audi. Toyota and Porsche. Porsche. Yeah. So those are the uh, GTRs, uh, you know, the ladder. The ladder of yeah. GTRs. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good thank day. Thank you. Good day.